What is up everybody? Welcome to another video. In this one we're going to talk to you about the new Vault Raiders event and Sea of Thieves as well as the Gold Hoarder weapon set that you unlock through the Vault Raiders. Now make sure you stick around because I'm going to show you how to quickly do a vault, especially if you're by yourself. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell. Let's get into it. All right, here we are on the Sea of Thieves website. You can see a little bit about the Vault Raiders event. I'll put the link down in the description below. How it works, gold hoarders, there are treasures under, under siege. Go do some vaults, get some free stuff. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, you do 50 of these, 50 favor gets you the sword, 100 favor gets you the pistol, 150 favor gets you the eye of reach, 200 gives you the blunderbuss, and 250 gives you the vault title. Now this is really easy to get, um, and this explains how you can get uh, out of the favor, but you get 10 favor by sailing 10 nautical miles. That's probably the hardest one to get because you have to sail a long way to do that. Five favor for every captain's chest you sell up the gold hoarders. That one's super easy, especially if you do a gold hoarder emissary. You'll get those emissary digs and you're guaranteed all captain's chests. So make sure you do those. Uh, you get 20 favor by doing a gold hoarder's voyage. So do the vault voyages. You get 10 favor by each ca uh, stronghold chest you sell the gold hoarders. So from forts, so on and so forth. 10 favor by uh, getting all the gold piles in the treasure vault. That can be difficult. I'd pretty much skip it. 10 favor for opening a vault and 25 favor for each of the chests of ancient tributes you sell to the gold hoarders. So when you spawn in, Lorena is going to play to go talk to her and she has these free vault voyages, a mysterious vault key located by Lorena. What I've found is you can get anywhere from a stone to a gold key. So if you get the stone keys, you don't get a lot of stuff, especially captain's chest. So I would actually always skip these and go actually to the gold hoarder and purchase his voyage, his uh, vault for 200 coin. I'd say in the past two months, I've only gotten gold keys from the vault from this voyage and they get to the most captain's chest. So definitely do that. Now let's actually look at the weapons that you unlock here. So the sword, you can see gold horror's cutlass. It's got kind of a gold key on the uh, actual sword itself. Here is the flintlock. Another kind of gold key on there. I like how it's wrapped in that leather with kind of the lacing. The blunderbust, same thing. It's got a, a vault key on there and more leather wrapping. And then the eye of reach. This one I think is probably the, my favorite of the crew. It has kind of that, almost similar to the the eye of reach unlock in insiders so i think it's pretty cool i'm a fan of it let's bring up the blunder bust one more time here this is actually a pretty cool model when you look at it here you see like the wrapping almost kind of like a football on top so that's the weapons now let me show you how you can easily do a vault voyage and do the vault puzzle by yourself what we want to do is go to the gold hoarder and you want to buy a over here on the left side, a deadly vault. It could be whatever vault he calls it. We're going to vote. And then you will get a golden compass wayfinder in your inventory. And you just follow where that uh, compass is taking you. You sail that way. You go through, you do some digs. You unlo And as you do those digs, you'll get pieces of a map. And then once you have the final X marks a spot map piece, you go dig that up. You'll go do a vault. So I'll run through this really quick. However, I do have a video series of where all the vault locations are that I found so far in the Sea of Thieves. I'll put that up here at the top of the screen. There you can find out how easily it is to get to all of the vaults. So you can see here the Golden Wayfinder is starting to get a little twitchy. That means you're getting close to the island where the dig is at. So it looks like my first dig is going to be right here at this island. So you'll see the little compass will start jittering. They want to start spinning really quick. That should be where you dig. We got our first map piece. And looks like it's gonna be up north, Smuggler's Bay. But we don't have the dig yet, so you always wanna check the compass again to make sure your next dig is not at the island you're already at. If it's a little island, it's usually not the case. But uh yeah, so we'll go to the next spot. Probably gonna be in this little island right here. Little sandbar. Our, oops. Our 
dig spot. There we go. We have, after two, we have the dig spot. So we'll head up to Smuggler's Bay and get that dug up. All right, we're here on Smuggler's Bay. Let's see if we can get this key dug up. As you can see, when you do, sometimes throughout the, uh, throughout the digs, these special skeletons will spawn and sometimes they'll drop gold loot or gold horror loot. So he got a guild chalice. Looks like that's maybe it. Oh, there's another guild chalice. Let's finish digging this up. We'll see what key we got here. Alright, we have a Crescent Isle gold key. So we'll go ahead and pick these up. We'll head down to Crescent Isle and I'll show you how to do the vault. All right, we're here pulling up to Crescent Isle. You want to come over to the back side or the west side of the island. And there's a little cave here as we turn the corner. And that's where we're going to go in for the vault. We're on a, you can do this with any ship. The sloop is really, really easy. Um, but we'll make the corner here. No more going. And we're going to use the harpoon to get some stuff out of here once we unlock the vault. sail up. I'm going to take the the gold key with me. Make sure I have it. Crescent Isle gold key. So you come through this little cavern here, this little tunnel. And then we're going to head a little over here to the side. What we like to do is after we do the vault, we put all the loot right here on like on this rock and then the person can get on the ship and harpoon it all. So the vault's over here to the left. You can see there is the moons on the wall, and that's where you put the key. So let's get it, put it there. And then we'll come down here. And I'll show you a real easy way to do the vault. All right, so if you're by yourself, what you want to do is you want to get one, at least one of the medallions. You can see there. They glow pretty bright. Let's see if I can find one here. Usually one around the corner here. There's one up there. So let's go a little parkour up here. And since you're by yourself, you need to do this pretty quick. And you want the so um, you don't always have a lot of time to do this. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and drop down and put the first key in, and it's going to be a cup. So we'll put the cup over here. All right, now we can go over to the fourth one and we see, okay, so the cup is either two chains up and down, lock and key. We have two chains here. No, nope. so this, that was the lock, or the key down. And then the lock, and then we'll see if there's two vertical chains here. There is, so let's see if that's the answer. Nope. So then we'll go over here to the cup so it's going to be key up padlock. So we'll key up. So we have the key up, two vertical chains. There we go. Well, we have the chests. Really simple way to do this by yourself. You only need one medallion. Technically, you can do it without, but if you get the one medallion, you're good to go. And you're pretty much safe until you hear kind of a the door start to kind of crunch. There it goes, makes that little crunch noise. That's when you really have to get out. Then... Drops. Now you fill up with water and you'll die. That's how you do a vault. And that's all she wrote. I'll link to you all of my videos on how to find all the vaults within the game. They're super easy. Go ahead and check out those in the playlist. Make sure you like, subscribe, Hit that bell and we'll see you in the next one.